What was supposed to be a straightforward decision descended into chaos. As this week, Barnet Council controversially voted against saving the borough's libraries. 9,000 residents petitioned for an alternative to the three options of cuts put forward. But it appeared to have limited impact. So what the Save Barnet Libraries campaign is trying to achieve is trying to, uh, to, uh, to make the council reconsider these three proposals, which were just to cut, cut and shrink, and to put forward a, um, a proposal which is serious about maintaining the viability of libraries locally. We very much see libraries not just as a glorified book lending place, but really as a community hub. Who will be affected by this? People who haven't got much money, who maybe haven't got any fixed abode. Decisions made in the town hall will have a direct impact here in the borough. Libraries such as this one next door may soon be checked out with no return date. But what will this mean for the residents of Barnet? Ruth goes to Hendon Library almost every day and is worried that the council's proposals will make this more difficult. They are planning to have unstaffed hours with no staff here at all. And I certainly wouldn't use the library when there are no staff here, I would feel unsafe. Following the meeting, the future of the libraries for residents is still uncertain. Later this year, officers are going to put together a proposal for how we could move forward to be able to make the savings that we want. I understand why people get concerned about libraries, because many people see their library very fondly near where they are, and they want to make sure that that service is retained, and that's what I want to maintain. With the extent and impact of the council's decision still unclear, the final chapter of Barnett's libraries, for now, has been left unwritten. Emily Haller, City News.